Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders, of course, with my personalization of a little bit of calf work and core work. Always emphasizing on your shortcomings is a good thing. Doing working on it on a regular basis helps you build on to that consistency and overload growth. Now to start off with. We're going to do the regular, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, four to five should be fine. Make sure you get a good stretch for the couple of seconds you do it. Sitting in a deep squat, mandatory, regardless of which body part we are working with, making sure we have good hip mobility. And then the new addition, it's no more new. I mean, we have been doing it for now one week. So the bird dog pose ensuring we have good core stability before we start with our workout it could be a proper core workout also if you want to emphasize more on your core you can hold each stance for 10 to 15 seconds and do 10 repetitions each side and that should be quite challenging post completing these we start with our first exercise which is the overhead press this time i chose to do it with a barbell Two warm-up sets with 10 to 15 repetitions should be good to go. Then we do four working sets, eight repetitions. This is something which is not my strongest lift. So I keep the weight at a challenging level and the repetitions as controlled as possible. And as you can see, I always make sure I go to the full range of motion, get the deep stretch in and then push up all the way. It's a compound movement. So you would require to get your absolute strength going in post completing those i started with cable lateral races three sets 20 repetitions and as you can see i was using my wrist straps to hook myself onto the cable so i don't have to hold on to the cable with my wrist and do some work there i can simply wrap them up around my wrist and just pull them around so again full range of motion getting the cable or oh, sorry the my arms all the way across my body feeling the stretch on my delts and from there bringing them up all the way as much as possible feeling the complete contraction if you don't have the wrist straps you need not worry you can just hold the cable and do it it's the amount of difference it makes might not be so much it's just a comfort thing uh, makes you focus a little bit more on your shoulder muscle and lately i have been not struggling but quite challenged in terms of connecting well with my lateral delts i mean the growth is good a good good amount of blood flow but i just don't feel that i'm getting 100 percent out of it every workout so i keep trying out things which will, can or will work for me next we're going to do the seated calf races by we it's a choice always to do calf work three sets as many repetitions as possible i'm doing seated this time with 45 to 60 seconds of rest you may choose to do it you can absolutely ignore it it's fine if you have great calves if not if you also want to improve your calves like me please do it doing it on regular basis might actually improve them a lot i definitely see slight a minimal growth as I accumulated it over the last maybe 40-50 days. So yeah, long way to go, but I hope this makes a difference. Now post completing our calf work, we can jump into our core work. Now for the core work, again, I want to mention is that it's a choice to do it. The reason why I'm doing is to improve my core step by step. I'm not in a hurry to get into a great uh, aesthetic look in my core. So I'm doing things at a minimal level you may choose to do it at a higher intensity the exercise which i chose to do is a random plank variation as you can see elbow to palm and then i change it a little bit then i start doing my leg movement basically a dynamic plank not just staying in an isolated plank but moving my limbs around making it more challenging because as you move around you need to balance more you need to have a greater bit of control on your core so yes you can try this out or you can do a regular 
isolation plank also. The only reason I'm using a mat under my forearm is to just feel a little bit of comfort. Otherwise, it's not necessary, but it's a comfort bit. We can focus more on our core instead of your elbows hurting. You can also do other core exercises as you prefer to. It's, it's a choice. Something which I think core is also one of those, uh, not one of those, the other body part which I want to focus a little bit more on on regular basis instead of doing high intensity uh, once in a week or twice in a week. We're going to finish off our shoulder workout simply with around the world rotations on an inclined bench. This is the killer. It works your entire shoulder, griddle, all the muscles there. Three sets, as many repetitions as possible every set. The weight, you, you would not be able to lift heavy weight. If you lift heavy weight, you have to use momentum. I don't want you to use momentum. Do it in a controlled manner like I am doing it here. Your red delts, your side delts, your friend delts, everything will be on fire by the end of first and second set. As you can see here, your traps also will get involved but not so much. Your red delt will do most of its job and your side delts will be challenged as you bring it all around yourself. So yes, that's about it. Uh, you may think why no red delt specific exercise. I mean, we are doing enough back workout wherein our red delts are getting worked up and one exercise for our red delt is sufficient because it is getting worked up. Friend delts also with all the chest work we are doing, they get enough amount of tension there. So not quite necessary. Overhead press already has taken care of it any which ways. We're going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to decompress our shoulders and also do a little bit of forearm endurance building. I had a great pump in my shoulders. Once again, not really satisfied with the way I'm connecting with my shoulder muscles. I would keep trying to innovate or at least try out newer exercises to see which one suits me the best. If that's the case with you also, hang on. We'll try to figure out what is best. So thank you so much for joining the video. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.